One question that can be asked in um, biology is why organisms can't all just get along and cooperate with each other. For example, why couldn't a population all be altruists? We saw kin selection works to favor behaviors that are helpful. Why couldn't a population also evolve a state where individuals are helping each other, even if it's not kin selection? The reason why this doesn't work very well is imagine a population in which everybody is an altruist, so all these green individuals here, but there's a mutation that arises that causes this individual to be like a cheater, right? So they're going to take the benefits from the altruistic behavior, but not actually provide the altruistic behavior. So in this case, this individual would receive the benefit to their inclusive fitness from the other individuals, but not pay the cost. So then if we think about the population as a whole, what's going to happen? Well, this guy will do better, right? Because they are not paying the cost. They get the benefit. And then the population over time is going to end up like this. So at each of these steps, the cheater will be better than the altruist. So they'll outcompete the altruists. And the population as a whole will end up having a bunch of individuals that no longer provide the benefit. And if we think about what's happening here is this population, as a whole, everybody's better off, right? The altruism is happening, the helpful behaviors, there's less mortality due to starvation or whatever. But selection for certain individuals is going to generate a population where this helpful behavior is not occurring. Now this population might actually not be as good as it would have been if there hadn't been evolution that favors these cheating individuals. In this example, individual level selection would eliminate altruism. Or individual selection eliminates altruism. And this is true unless there's memory and long-term relationships. So there are some circumstances where altruism, you can imagine, could resist cheating individuals. But unless these things are going on, those cheating individuals will always have a higher individual fitness than the other ones in the population. So although groups that are altruistic would be more fit, natural selection generally prevents those groups from being able to persist. And this actually relates to a concept that many people have of something called group selection. So this is the idea that selection acts to raise the overall fitness of the group. Altruism would create groups that are better off than other groups that don't have altruism. But as we see, individual selection is often going to beat this sort of group selection. Because although evolving altruism would be good for the group, individual selection is going to cause that group to then lose altruism. And so we actually see some kind of a conflict here where selection at the, at the group level should favor altruism and result in populations with those sorts of helpful behaviors. But selection at the level of individuals is going to undermine this and kind of defeat group selection and cause the group to not be altruistic. And so this tension or this conflict between natural selection operating at two different levels is kind of an interesting force in evolution that we're going to examine. When we examine it, we'll think about it something like this conceptually. We can have groups of organisms and then individuals competing with each other within these groups. Different groups, you can imagine, make up the overall species. So different groups can compete with each other within a species. And then, in fact, there's other levels. So within an individual, we'll actually see that different genes can compete with each other within the individual. And you could also imagine different species will compete within different orders or different clades. So there's lots of different levels at which selection might occur, all the way from selection and competition between genes within individuals, competition and selection between individuals in populations, populations competing with each other within a species, species competing within genus, etc. So we're going to look at several different examples of selection happening at different levels.